So welcome back to our instructional video series of how to make a cement sculpture of a pensioner sitting on a rock feeding birds. Now we've taken you to this point which is just the first coat of cement which is quite rough. Now we're going to start showing you how to do the final layer. Okay we switched Adam out for Maya. Uh, we really wanted to introduce other members of the Misfits Unified family through this video series and Maya why don't you introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm Maya, and I am very passionate about sewing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make realistic clothing in cement. This is a passion of mine, and I'm very good at it. So before we get started, the very first thing we're going to do is inspect the sculpture, the areas that we're working on, which is today the shirt. And we're going to observe areas where we need to make corrections to the shape. For example, where the shoulders are, they look a bit flat and we'd like to build them up a little bit. Is there anywhere else, Maya, that you've noticed? Around here as well, we have a bit of an unnatural angle. So we want to round out his butt to give him a nice, nice, shape, here, nice yeah. shape. Yeah. So that's our first step. Whenever you're applying wet cement to an area of dry cement, you need to apply what we call a milkshake. What a milkshake is, it's a mixture of cement powder and water and it helps the wet cement stick to the dry cement. If you don't have a milkshake, what can happen is that the wet cement can fall away from the dry cement very easily. So now that we've built out the back area and the shoulders, we're going to let that dry for a bit. We're going to do a finishing layer and then we're going to do all the details on this sleeve. And I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see, we're applying roughly about a centimeter like we did the first layer. And at the moment, we're more concerned about getting a general shape. And once the cement is dried a little bit, we'll, sh we'll then smooth and then add the creases. And while we're waiting for this to dry, we're going to just jump over to the other arm. <laughs> so now that this area here is touch dry, you can see when we touch it, it's not leaving a fingerprint mark or an indent, unlike this area here, which still needs a bit more time. Which means we can continue along the back of the neck and start working in this area. Now when we're working on the second layer, uh, we want to work on the, the general shape and get the general shape right. I recommend you to get photos so you can have them as reference points when you work. Uh, so for example, now with this man, we want to give him more of a hunch to get the old man kind of feeling to him. So now that we have a layer on the arm, I'm going to work the shirt sleeve to the body so they feel connected and I'm also gonna do the seam uh, where the arm meets the shirt. 
We have our base now on the sleeve across the back and on the other sleeve. We're going to join that up across the front and all around the back. And once all of this base is done, we're going to then add all of the details. Now to add the detail to the sleeve, it's at the perfect time now, which is not quite dry, but when you touch it, it's relatively firm. You're not leaving fingerprints or, or indents with your finger. Now, the very first step is to smooth it. We want one nice smooth layer before we add the creases. The way to do this, if you can take a little block of styrofoam you might have lying around the house, or we tend to use um, just a foam pad, a flexible foam pad, and you dunk it in the water and you use that to work the surface. So as you can see here now on the arm, it looks very straight and rigid. But don't worry, we will add the creases and it will feel much more like a fabric and organic. We're going to use my famous sausage technique, which is you roll, you take some cement, you roll it into a sausage like this, and then you put it onto the shirt, you attach it to the shirt where you want the crease. So basically take the sausage, you push, push it on like this, and then you're going to blend it in with the tools. And when you blend it in, you're going to uh, blend one end of the sausage to the shirt, so it goes into the shirt, and then the other end, you're going to leave it like the fabric folds over itself and into the shirt like this so you're gonna leave a little crease here So if you look at the picture that we've chosen, uh, we have a big crease here in the front and another big crease coming from the back, joining in with the back of the shirt. So we're going to add that big one at the back as well. When you work the creases into the shirt, make sure to blend the endings of each uh, crease into the shirt so it feels like a one continuous thing rather than something's put on it. Now that we've applied the creases with Maya's famous sausage technique, the idea is to come over with a paintbrush, a wet paintbrush, and very lightly brush over. And you'll see what happens here is that all of the edges are softened and blended into the shirt. So for the details, I add a blob of cement and I blend it in on one side and I cut out a, a ridge on the other side. And I will do this for the detail on the back and for the bottom of the shirt. shirt totally finished. It's taken Maya and I five hours to get it to this stage. Uh, if you don't have this kind of time available or if you don't want to do it all in one go, I suggest you take sections and you totally finish that section before you move on to other sections. It's very difficult to make these creases blend in if you're adding them to cement that's already dried. So let's get started on the trousers. As far as corrections go, we just need to fill a little bit more flesh here underneath the leg. But apart from that, we're ready to go. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did with the shirt, which is put a base layer down and then come over the top of the creases.
So now we're done with all the clothes. I hope you enjoyed making them at home. That's right. So next video we are going to do the face. Until then, happy sculpting at home. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions, just post them below. See you next time.